a six or different bus. Dedicate my soul to heat the scarecrow that had burned in me. Screaming Ricky, I'll rap it. Great like who's the chill? They trade the devil's playground in my head. They put me to lie in bed and burn the fuck in me for spirit. My step daddy. I ain't gonna say father. Cause I still wanna kill that motherfucker. You know, he beat my mom up every day. You know what I'm saying? And hit it with skillets and cast iron skillets, uh, irons and shit. Like she was a dog, so I went through this shit. And I hate nine years. Every day fight, every other day he take the money and all this shit and run off and buy this shit and fight with him. You know, I'm fighting a grown man, I'm young and shit. And his brother, they jumping on mom, I jump in and help her out. They throw him and drop me on my head and shit. Seeing folks get shot. When I was young and uh, all kind of shit, all kind of crazy shit, man, you know. It just came a day I'm talking to her, and the next day she was gone. I just didn't get it. I'm just two of going on 13. I ain't know what was going on. You know, because you're 13, you don't know where you because he came back to Memphis and this, this shit happened. I don't know nothing about this city, you know what I'm saying? I, I know I got family, but they didn't keep me, they, everybody else. I think I was the first person to go on foster care. So I just left and ran. So I'm 13, poor, can't get a job. Uh, shit, it's cold outside, raining and shit. So I vowed then, I said, man, fuck dude, because I didn't get it. Everybody talking about some Jesus, man, where this nigga at? Who is that? Me, and it ain't me. And it angered me, and every time I see these TV shows, this nigga coming out the sky, and these black folks jumping up and down talking about, so who God don't need no more? I'm just saying, if you got what? God is a title to me, so I don't believe in none of this shit. I believe it's one big being, or maybe many, or, or maybe a she. You get what I'm saying? But I don't follow no program from people who are killers. You know what I'm saying? I don't follow none of that. Uh, so, and I, this shit just pissed me off. I said, fuck God, I got him. I met Paul Boring God in a shot class at Hillcrest. Um, and let me see, he's coming class room, write his name on the board all the time. Write his name on the board all the time, Paul Boring God. And I just couldn't stand that shit. And so we checked a lot. I don't know who you think you is, so you check me cause back then everybody wore silk shirts. So, silk shirts was in and speak brights and you know what I'm saying? So I had a, about 20 of them joints. Some polyester, some silk, they just wore the words. At least I didn't have the gold caps in my mouth. And everybody wearing them caps. Anyway, I don't think we got along. He was serial killers. I was lyrical gangsters. Both of us kind of arrogant, whatever. So. I got kicked out of that school, went to another school, got kicked out of that school for getting into it with a teacher. That was at Central High and went to Noah's side. Where I ran across Juicy, Jordan Houston. He was coming to class and uh, talked to the teacher. Uh, I was in the same class as Beatrice Ray, Big Trees. Y'all probably seen him in Hollywood. He never worked with this shit. He just came in class drunk and then said a motherfucking thing. But you know, um, after that, I think I got shipped off to Knoxville for getting in trouble. Cause you know, I came up in a, a group home, boys home, foster care and shit. And for kids like me, at my age, 4, 13, 14, it's hard to find a placement. So they shipped me to Knoxville. I didn't like it, so I made my best to get everybody in the group home drunk. So they could kick me out. Came back, one of my guys who grew up in the Haven said, uh, Paul is a, uh, he still, do I still be talking to Paul? I said, no. I told him, get my number, he gave me Paul number. And you know, like always, this is how we be. We be arrogant. Shit, I wait on him to call me. I guess he waiting on me to call him. Anyway, I called him, I said, uh, hey, uh, did you call me? He said, man, you know I ain't call you. And there we go. In that time, it was no, it was me, Paul, Lord, and Juicy. Crunch was a dancer, so. Uh, we ain't ran Krause Boo yet. And uh formed the Triple Six, you know. Just for all you play, I hate them, so we talking that The three six, show no love, put some hurt on the trick. I'm busting through the crowd wild with my ass. I 
fuck with Paul. I like with Paul, where he, you know, I like to see him, you know, cause, you know, he, uh, you know, he, 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 you know what I'm saying? He's not able to use his right arm, but he's good on the turntables and mixing boards and making tracks. So I saw something in him. You get what I'm saying? I saw somebody trying to do something. I saw somebody like me that had something to prove. And I fuck with that man. I vowed to man. I told him, man, Lord, to man, we sugar blood, man. Cause I ain't sugar blood, man. This how it gonna be. Let's do this, man. He had something to do. He was upset about something. I was upset about something. Let's get these motherfuckers. You hear me? So, uh, I don't know what other guys will come tell you, uh, hey, well, now nah, we want, man. Look, you don't play with the triple six and nine, right? You know what it is. You do have a conscience. The average person go and say triple six, and I'm a triple six. You just straight up, somebody gonna come and say, you going to hell. And if you really with that Christian religious shit, you gonna think you going straight to hell. You get what I'm saying? So we knew what the fuck it was. I knew what the fuck it was and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed making motherfuckers go crazy and get violent, catch charges and fight and shit. Get high now, you know what I'm saying? And all this shit, what they call crunk nowadays. Cause back then, uh, and it was just North Memphis and South Memphis, and uh, what Triple Six did was made those two parts of the city come together. South Memphis ought to go to rap, North Memphis and rap, North Memphis ought to go, you know, because it was all full of, you know what I'm saying, rappers from all over. So we really just say brought the city together. Yes, I was deeply. I don't know about nobody else, but I can tell you we know we was doing with Triple Six. Hey, we exactly knew what it meant. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, you know, I kind of didn't want to get into all that. No matter what I blame God for doing, you know, uh, I, 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 I hated God for what he did. But as it came to the Triple Six, I didn't want, I don't think I hate him that much. But I did it because it was money. And so, you know, you could, uh, I even had the, had the satanic books, uh, the little warlock materials, you know, every warlock gotta have a dagger, cut the little punch stars, whatever, little candles and shit. I had all that, I was into all that. So, because something about the other Bible didn't work out. So I can tell you this, we did, folks with triple six, some folks were scared of it and left, put it like that. But me, I meant what I was saying. I definitely meant it. I said, uh, so God, you're going to play like that, huh? Well, I got you. I'm going to make black folks comfortable with triple six. Like then black folks was like scared of this shit. You know, they wanted too much on it. It's basically rock and roll. You know, they said triple C to go, ah. Oh. Then, they, then they start listening to it and go to church. So they said, um, ask a lot of y'all worship the devil. They said they're Christians, but they bumping triple six. You get know what I'm saying? So my job was out of anger to make black people get comfortable with their name. And I was very intelligent with it because I read a lot about it. You know, so I read a lot of books. I'm not a Christian, I'm not a Baptist, I'm not an atheist, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not a Catholic, I don't believe in Jews. I don't believe in a lot of this bullshit that they make up. It's, so I think I was used by Satan and I think he's a bitch. Uh, I don't fear him. I don't even believe in that motherfucker no more. But uh, just to get black people, you know, once you get the black people, which are the writers of the Bible, they carry the Bible on their back like Jesus, uh, Yahshua, whatever his name is, told of the cross, you know what I'm saying, the crooks or whatever. Uh, but anyway, we got those, we got people comfortable with his name and we made sure we made songs <clears throat> the um, violent. Very, very violent. We made songs very violent. Um, everything. Everything was violent. Sometimes we uh, used to hypnotize, come up with stuff to hypnotize people, like repeated of triple six, back to back triple six. Why I got a bass line, you shake your head, you eye. You hear these crazy ass samples that we get off movies and shit. Oh, rock and roll albums that you probably would not even pick up and buy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
like Porta Shit, all the noise, Metallica and all that. That's what I came brought in the group. The diversity of like, hey, why don't we just put some of this rock shit over um, a hard ass rap track? And when we do that, we get both proud, we get the white and black folks. And I tried it and I won, I did it with the song uh, Ancient Mutilations. I had Lord of the chorus, vocals, chorus on the chorus with the Metallica song. You know what I'm saying? And break it down, triple six, repeat it back to back, anything triple, constant said it's hypnotizing, and people liked it. So I know I brought a new era into the music business for Memphis and everybody jumped on it. Um, I meant what I was saying. You know, I really meant it. I hate it. I have no sympathy, no don't care to know who you is, what you are. Then you gotta understand my situation. I was a runaway. I spoke been in cussing, but I, I, I knew I could take care of myself. I'm going through that, so I did a lot of violent things. People out of shot motherfuckers. Shit, uh, I don't think I killed nobody. But if I did, I'd never tell you. I very much enjoyed it, and uh, to, I like to tell everybody, you know, uh, the reason why, you know, I'm not with that group anymore because I stayed in jail. Ain't nobody else fault but mine. So I'm the rapper that out of three cities they stayed in jail, breached contract. I missed a lot of videos, airplane uh, flights overseas and stuff to help to promote the album. I never was there. I was in jail every year. I just got out 14 years of paper. So it's not nobody else's fault and nobody go around thinking we were getting fucked out of our money and cost Paul and we got more money now. Stay out of other folk business, stop running up and worry about another grown man and try to get another grown man to help you. And them folk deserve this shit, you know what I'm saying? I did my part right here fucking up motherfuckers to prove they can't fuck with Triple Six. Like I told Paul and them, when they touch us, we're gonna touch their ass right back. And I'm quite sure there's a lot of folks in Memphis know about this shit. <laughs> Hey man, y'all don't deal with Jay. He's a 
zone, join in the terror. I ain't it from the earth, damage of damage and terror. And uh, I'm constant niggas, niggas now down. Send your pass on the news, bring up and buck that down trick. Damn, this brother wanna get in the biz. Cooper run up on the boys, keep your kids in the toys trick. Then you'll find out there's no time now. Where you go? It was a lot of uh, crazy shit going on. We went downtown to do uh, an album cover for Mrs. Styles. And uh, you couldn't know me, of course. I'm so with the shit. I got on the guy, that's me on the cross. Just me, Paul Lord, and Juice with Crunch on there. He was a Disney one part of the group. You know, Boo had been across it and all them other guys. Um, while down there is a building, it's called a factory something. But right now it's on Riverside somewhere. Uh, all them houses up on Riverside and shit. It's a warehouse. We ran across some shit we weren't looking for. While at the same time we had triple six, but damn, we realized there's some real shit going on. It was actually motherfuckers in this building this room. with the little robes and shit on, little altar on that motherfucker. Uh, looking in that motherfucker. So, you know, we got caught down there. It made us watch. And on the way leaving, Low well, that was the second time. The first time, police would put up like, men's police said, y'all shouldn't be down here. So that let me know right then it was some shit going on in this world, uh, in this city by rich folks and, and politicians that's in this shit. And this shit is really serious. So I told myself, hey, well, I'm not the kind of drink blood because you know it's 150 some ways of worship and Satan. Movies, you got Satan's, the copes, all kind of shit, witchcraft, sorcerers, all this shit. So I guess I was just a goddamn messenger. You get what I'm saying? This shit is real. Uh, I went by Southwind and ran across a motherfucker with a bonfire. You know what I'm saying? So the thing about it, I, I said, I, I guess I was, um, what you call it? Uh, you know, I was a clean, fancy type. Satanist, or whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? Us as being 36 Mafia, you know, we have like our own style, and then, you know, put together, you know, it's uh, mystic styles, you know, Lord Infamous, Blue Juice, all me, we way different. Put that together, you have something hard. Like that, and uh, I guess I would like to, because I, I want the scum of the earth. Like going wearing all the goddamn crazy colors and necklaces. I did have upside down crosses and shit. I did have black fingernails, but I ain't that crazy off the wall kind. I'm strictly because there's levels in it. You got motherfuckers that go from the black robes to the chains and cuts on their bodies to motherfuckers with Italian soups on. In the politics, it's really there. The shit really exists, and I'm trying to see right now because. Now, because I read a lot of Satan, this shit in the 666 is bullshit.